<laughs> so I, I thought this was pretty funny. Uh, so much so that I immediately brought up my Streamlabs and started, and started recording. I haven't clicked this, but I read the title. If you slow walk an LA fight, a LA fight, in hopes I quit out of frustration, I hope you get uncontrollable foot odor. <laughs> but seriously, Raid is toxic enough, right? Why bring more awfulness to the game? Now we've talked about Live Arena, there's Raid bots, there's people who grieve. We're not going to dive into that, but I thought this was funny enough to, to get into and, and at least cover a little bit. And I'm going to go on this with kind of a... Uh, and a more upbeat thing. I feel already kind of burned out talking about how shit Live Arena is, but let's just let's just see what people say. I faced Palm so hard when Nub Raids promoted his AFK tactic in his video. Try this new trick. Just be toxic in Live Arena and get free stuff. I don't know how they have the patience to punish themselves. Did he really do that? Did Nubs really promote being AFK? I'm sorry. I respect Nubs. If this is the case and he really promoted this being AFK, um, I, I just don't agree with it. I'm pretty sure he came from a, a place of good intent. And again, I respect the guy. He's he's just like one of those guys that's always upbeat and positive. He's got that good energy about him. That's energy that I can't always put out. Like I'm a very... You guys know who I am. Or, or you guys know enough about me to know that like when I'm pissed, I'm pissed and I show it. Or when I'm happy, I'm happy. But um, I sometimes envy the people, the creators like Ash or Nubs, who just always are able to emulate and portray or like exude, I think would be a better way of doing it, of saying it, a more apt description. They're able to exude like just positive energy, um, but I just, it's not in me to be able to do that. So I just, I just don't do it. Um, but yeah. A while ago, like a month, almost two months ago now, I came out with a, with a video talking about how I was able to finish my Marius missions pretty quickly. And then I showed you guys how I actually do it. And it's basically going in and then leaving. So you go in, you lose a few times in a row, like three or four times in a row. And usually by the third or the fourth fight, you get an easier fight because you drop in rank and Raid sees that, oh, this guy's losing. We don't want him to get discouraged from doing Live Arena. Let's match him with somebody who's a little bit, you know, not exactly there. That's why if you're a lower level player and you're going up against somebody who's got like 6,000 Live Arena points, that's that's part of the reason as to why. I'm not saying that's only the reason, and there's no official statement on this, but in my experience, and I've been doing this for a while now, that's what happens. And spoofing is not a thing that's only in Live Arena. We've talked about this, uh, clans do this for CBC, Siege, etc. So it's nothing new. I don't think I have to go uh, any further into it, but yeah. Also, you don't want to have win streaks. So when I'm doing Live Arena, usually again by the third or the fourth fight, I purposely start losing because I don't want to uh, have a fight that's going to take me like 15 minutes. I'd rather just get in and get out. Um, plus, if you leave the if you leave the battle right away, it saves everybody time. It's, you're saving yourself some time, so you don't have to just walk away, go to the fridge, and then constantly check back. You're just in and you're out. And the same thing with the person on the receiving end. No reason to grief anybody. Give them a free win. Let's, let's you know, keep it going. They absolutely need to reduce the time. Exactly, bro. To choose a champ to 30 seconds. Nobody needs a full minute to pick their champs. And if you do, skill issue, get better. I agree with this. I understand that there's there's people out there who want to take their time thinking or sometimes they get stumped. I get that, but 30 seconds is still way too long, especially when you're going up against a griefer or somebody using a raid bot to do their live arena battles. Um, I think 30 seconds is way too much. I feel like if it was 15 to 20 seconds, keep in mind, there's also a little bit of a lag before the timer actually starts counting down and after it hits zero. There's, there's always, not always, but most of the time there's a lag. I feel like 30 seconds is too much. I think 15, 20 seconds would be closer. Plus, it would help everybody adjust to that timer because that feels more like live arena, right? Uh, that's, yeah. We're all selecting the same six to four. <laughs> that's true. If you watch my live arena videos, which I'm starting to get more into. Um, sorry, my phone is nearby. So if there was a little bit of a, a buzzing noise, that's my, my phone. It messes up with the connection. Um, we're all selecting the same six to 14 champions. 
of our roster. Yeah, I choose the same champions every single time, pretty much. Nobody is searching deep in their roster vault for 30 seconds, or 30 seconds is more than enough. They can speed things up in battle later if they need, but reducing the time we get to select champs is an easy fix that would help everybody who's not a toxic POS immediately. Uh, where is the thing? Sorry, I was checking to make sure it was still going. I made a post about this the other day. I agree, it would take it a few steps further. 15 seconds to select, yeah. 31 picking two but allow auto pick function for those who always pick the same champions. That would be pretty good too. Like if you know you're gonna go in with X amount of champions, like two support champions, Siffy, Siffy Arbiter, and then a lockout champion, Warlord Yumiko, or Armands, and then two nukers, whether it's Alaz, the Sunbearer, Rhodos, or, you know, uh, Taurus, Georgid, have it always pick those same champions. 15 seconds in game turn limit, isn't it at 15 right now? What is it at? I I, I can't... No, 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 no. It's, it is 15 seconds. You know, give or take 15 seconds because it takes time for the counter to start. I feel like 15 seconds is still too much for somebody to choose their moves. Again, we're looking for live arena, right? We want it to be live arena. We want to feel a little bit more of a rush. I feel like 10 seconds might be better. 15 minute max time limit. I feel like... F or uh, 5 minutes. I feel like 10 minutes would be more so appropriate because right now it's at 15 before it was at like 30. Is it at 15 or, or 20? I feel like 10 would be better. I feel like five is kind of pushing it. That's a big jump, but I, I like the idea. I like the idea, but I feel like five minutes just might be a little bit unreasonable because you just run into situations sometimes where you're at a standstill. I also think, and I was discussing this with some people in the comments, that if there's ever a stalemate, I feel the most appropriate thing for Raid to implement is giving the win who to instead of a draw and everybody loses give the win to whoever did more damage right if a player hits the time limit three times and goes on auto you can't turn it off that's a good one too the other thing is if you're a griefer or a raid bot user ban like a, a like a bit like you know how in chat if you say something wrong like huevos in in um in chat you get auto banned huevos is eggs in spanish so if you say that or you say something else like, uh, I, I don't know, whatever it is, and you get banned, you're banned for like a month or something. Why don't they do that for Live Arena? Because we know they can ban people, right? Just lock them out of of um, that area, Live Arena, for like a day or something. If a person or if a player doesn't pick a nuker, their account gets banned immediately. Um, I don't necessarily agree with this one because... People, such as myself, love taking champions who aren't meant to be nukers. I'm looking at you, Pixneal, and using them as nukers. You could also build UDK as a nuker. Yes, you can. Now, these guys aren't the best nukers, but they can nuke, bro. I'm saying. Pixneal's technically a support champion. I'm going to link that video down below in case you haven't seen it. But Pixneal can put in work, dude. And a pile of flaming dog shit gets dropped off on their front door every day for a year. The reason he's saying this is because sometimes people like to pick just a bunch of support champions. We're saying UDK, Marishka, Duchess, Pytheon, and then like, I don't know, um, I don't know, Urast. The point isn't to nuke and win. The person that plays that kind of card or cards is the person who's just trying to grief. You're trying to stay alive and not die and make it extremely hard. I guess better than Urast Islin. Yeah. Hearthstone is a good but not perfect system for that. If you net the rope, if you net the rope burn to the end, I've never played Hearthstone. Uh, it started burning with your next turn from the start, reducing your time to 10 seconds. I like that too. Limau. How do you know they didn't pick a nuker? My Brogni is built to nuke. Exactly. Yeah, uh, I did a video a while ago building Brogni as a nuker and he can nuke also. Not exactly the best nuker, but still, he, he can put in some work. Same thing with Tormund. If you guys haven't seen my Tormund video, I did a showcase on Tormund. Tormund can nuke too. He's one of my favorite picks in Live Arena because oftentimes people think that, oh, he's got all of these support champions and only two nukers, one of them, or two damage dealers, one of them being Tormund, but they don't know that. So they banned like my Taurus, thinking that Tormund's not going to do anything and it's just a bunch of supports. And then boom, Tormund drops the ice ball on them and they get knocked out cold. Same thing with Ramantu. People can build Ramantu to nuke. I knew somebody named Tavish 
who doesn't play raid anymore, but he builds Kaimar as a nuke Kaimar, and that was crazy. I also went up against somebody with... <laughs> it's so stupid. I went up against somebody who built their Duchess to nuke. I was so surprised, but they did like 30,000 damage. Of course, it was somebody with insane gear, uh, a, a Kraken. They did... Uh, yeah, it was about 30,000 damage. It might be a little bit less than 30,000, somewhere like 20-something. But it was about 30,000 damage to my Taurus. I was like, what the hell? But yeah, that was that was a crazy one. I've also built... Um, who? Oh, Cardiel. Cardiel's another one. A sleep, he's, in a, he's in a sleeper nuke build. Nobody expects Cardiel to do damage, but he does damage. AK attack, Soul Reap, Allele, nukes just fine. Yostrid can nuke, I didn't know that. There are many examples of stealth nukers, exactly. Stealth nukers, that's the perfect iteration or app description. You can build Mithra. I don't ever think I've seen Modern Thinker and Spudzy talk to each other. I always cover their comments, but I've never seen them talk. But yeah, Modern Thinker, I'm with you on this one, bruh. Mithrala can hit. Yeah, I've done a video on Mithrala nuking. Some might have two champs of their five built for damage. You aren't seeing it because they're cloaking their tactics. Yeah. The last bullet point was obviously a joke, was it? I didn't see the joke, personally. Oh, <laughs> uh, I have a dupe Uko to nuke. Wow, dupe Godseeker. Guess what? Both smack really hard to my surprise. Godseeker smacks. I'd love to go against the guy who brought Yostrid as his only as his only nuker. He's gonna learn pretty quick how that won't work out for him. Sure. Before I quit raid, I used to see that often. They pick like five tankers, healers, build so tanky with so much resist. They're sitting there doing nothing, waiting for you to quit. I know some which need the minute case of phone and internet. Bro, the servers and hardware ain't fast enough for some folks. I'm down with the idea because 90% of the time I'm, I'm on the device with sufficient speeds, but occasionally I'm slumming it on a non-gaming laptop or a slow hotspot connection. I've timed out of fights because of it. 30 or 15 seconds is too fast. I've heard this argument, um, and I get it, but then I would have to inquire and probably... Like, if I was on the board making these decisions, I'd probably look to see how many people are actually timing out or having internet con uh, connections versus people who are not having those internet connections and then doing the things that people are complaining about, right? Because I hear this argument a lot, you know, the, oh, there's bugs with the confirm button that I understand. There's nothing we can do about that. Or timing out of fights because of internet. I, I, I get it, but also... If you know you're kind of having issues with it, maybe go to a cafe or, or something. I don't know. It's not That's not the best ideal situation. But at the same time, if you're having internet connections, why are you going to make other people suffer? You know what I mean? And again, that's not a popular opinion. But at the same time, you know, there's got to be some type of compromise. I don't have the perfect answer for that. But... You know, you've been you've been able to do raids so far pretty well with with other th other things, but I don't know. It's not a it's not a bulletproof perfect solution. It's just my blatant, dumb, stupid opinion at this point. And again, you don't have to agree with anything that I'm saying, but at the same time, you know, you know what I mean. I just feel like oh, my internet isn't working is like the best excuse for why you're lagging if you're that type of person i'm not saying this guy is you might be taking for granted you kind of know who you're going to pick not everybody has the game sense but it's also something you can learn right i understand this point not everybody has that skill it takes time to learn it uh some people just like being super thoughtful cool you can be super thoughtful just think five seconds faster it's probably few uh it's probably few enough folks your idea still works but you'd be making the game mode so much more unpleasant for several categories of folks Mmm, yeah. I mean, there's always going to be people on both sides of the spectrum, right? You're always going to have people who agree with me. You're always going to have people who disagree with me. Whatever side or whatever side of the uh, spectrum that you're on, you know, you, you can't make everybody happy. Pre-select features, preset FF draft, yeah. The only caveat I'd say in the final pick is a little tricky if they've thrown in two tricky, uh, tricky, tricky champs at you. Also have to factor in a band choice while picking. Apart from that, I totally agree. My live, ex my live arena experience got better when I accepted a win fast or lose fast approach. If I can't win in the first few, I usually quit out. If the lockout, if I, if the lockout doesn't, I quit. If they nuke my team and my win, per uh, my win percentage chance goes low, I'll quit. I yeah, win fast or lose. You don't want to spend uh, too long on it doing live arena fights unless you're a content creator. That's one thing that I gotta say. 
if you're doing it for content and you want to show like the entire fight i that's something that i'm okay with because it makes sense right you're sharing the experience with your viewers people are watching you there is money involved not a lot but there still is money involved that's part of why i i normally only do live arena now uh, mostly when i'm recording it right make content out of it hint hint if you want to be a youtuber great way to do it there's a lot of people who want to watch people do live arena i'm not the best at live arena do not follow me for live arena but if you want some laughs if you want to watch me make dumb decisions or if you want to teach me some shit uh, shit then go ahead and you know watch my stuff uh, did I read this guy? There's nothing at all to discourage this. There's needs, There needs to be a penalty. Instead of the game picking their most powerful, most used champs, it should pick their weakest champs or an auto loss, missing the timer on three picks. I hope the twat waffles that do have their socks fall all the way down, underwear rides all the way up, itchy foot fungus, bro. It is astounding the type of insults people can come up with. The new quest did increase the amount of players playing afk from the start making an already horrible experience worse than average now on day five not finishing my dailies it feels good personally i just i leave nowadays like if i know i'm gonna go up against a bot or somebody's taking their time i take it on the chin i take the l you know i, I just leave i'm not gonna spend too much time doing it um and that's mostly when i'm playing like on my phone like watching something and live arena just happens to be there and i don't feel like recording so yeah ain't that bad from time to time you get a free win true Timeout twice, automatically forfeit. That's my solution. I agree. It goes to auto. There's no dissentive for people not to AFK. Either play or don't queue. Exactly. Don't queue. If you know that you're going to have issues or become a fucking issue, don't queue. Do not go into live arena with the intent of fucking around, right? Don't make me suffer because you're not happy with Polarium. Don't make, make, don't make me suffer because you have issues, basically. I don't know. When I get one, I'll play it out and slow as them. The only issue I have with this is, and this was before I knew that there were bots out there. Now, sometimes you get a griefer who purposely takes up the entire turn meter and then you play their game. Most of the time, when I start playing the game, the slow burn game, where they want to take up the entire meter and I start taking up their entire turn meter, or my favorite one is where I have my Wukong and my Armands and my UDK. Like, cause, cause sometimes when you're going into a fight, you can tell, okay, this person's taking up the entire turn meter. I'm going to polymorph them <laughs> until the entire turn meter starts happening. That's one thing I like to do. Um, you know, just keep sheeping them, bringing them back. Because they, when you come back from sheep, you have half health. So if you take up their time, they start realizing that. And they're like, okay, well, I don't want to do that. So then they start playing normally. Um, but other times, and I just learned this, you're going up against a bot. Sometimes you're just going up against the bot. And when you're going up against the bot... Well, guess what? There's nobody really on the other side to receive the the Uno reverse card. So in that sense, that's that's one thing where you would just walk away. You can't really tell. Like sometimes you can kind of tell, right? If you're going up against an actual player or a bot. If I'm going up against an actual player and I try out that method where I Uno reverse card them, and then I watch their timer, and halfway through the timer they make a decision or they make an they make an active decision, then I know okay, well they're they're actually playing. They're just choosing to grieve. Or, if I'm going up against somebody and they're they're almost always immediately making a move after I've made a move, after I've s tried to see them grief and they're constantly making active moves, then I know it's a bot. I, that's a whole like butt full of things to to mention, but you know I'm just sharing my thoughts. Drag out my win until they quit. If you waste my time, I'll, wa I'll waste more of yours, which I used to agree with until I learned there were bots. Once you have, or once the battle starts, you have 10 seconds to make a move. It's not like you have a lot of choices. That's another thing. I hate going up against somebody who doesn't have a lot of choices. For an example, I locked them out with Warlord, and it's Duchess's turn, and she can only do one thing, A1, but you're taking like 10 seconds to make a decision. She's not going to do any damage 99% of the time, so what are you doing thinking about who you're going to hit? There's nobody to hit. I mean, there's anybody to hit, but you're not doing anything regardless. Why are you taking up so much time, bro? You don't have a lot of choices. You should know your champs by now at this point. True. Especially if you're a high-ranking live arena player. You know what I mean? It, you should just know at this point. This doesn't apply to you if you're new to live arena and you got you, you have a low standing. But if you're in like gold three live arena, gold four, what are you doing? 
I win my five battles, takes about six to seven fights. After I get my five, I have fun. I select my lowest tier common champions, maybe one or two. What I'm saying is I tank the last fights, give my opponent hopefully a smiling face when he see who's he's, who, uh, who he is fighting. I hope that foot odor <laughs> gets so bad the doctor has to amputate. I had this guy earlier. Guys, a slow, a slow picked his roster, so I slow defeated his team. The minute long wait times just makes me get sidetracked. It's like arena should be 10 seconds a champ. Exactly, see? We're all on the same page here. A lot of people, it's not just me. Some of you guys thought I was crazy for saying, hey, we need 10, 15 seconds for choosing champions. It's not just me, bro. Other people are saying this, bro. Dude, never attitude. Oh, never attribute to maliciousness that which can be explained by laziness. The vast majority. That's. <sighs> that's a very mature way to think about things. I'm not going to lie. That is a mature stance. But some people be trying me, bro. <laughs> the vast majority of AFK Live Arena people hate the new system and just pray they get an auto win with no effort so they can collect their daily rewards. I had a match yesterday after picking teams. I clicked auto, did shit in another game, popped back over, fight was nearly seven minutes in, no dead champs, my opponent was clearly not on auto. I left the battle, ain't nobody got time for this nonsense. If I pull five UDKs, that's my only Live Arena team. That's not gonna work in gold. Agree. Sometimes, sometimes I thought they were a bot. They don't care about winning, just trying to outlast you. There are certain areas in life where all you have to do is outlast. This isn't one of them. You telling me? <laughs> you te <laughs> you telling me Love Arena isn't full auto? Oh, <laughs> Love Arena is never <laughs> run on auto. <laughs> just remember, it could be a connection issue, and not even on their end, but Polarium's end, which makes sense. But you can always. That's true. Because I've had connection issues and it it disconnects me. It a, a message pops up on my screen saying, "Oh, you've been disconnected from the match" or something. Or sometimes I get I get a pop up on my phone that says, uh, "Unusual activity's been like it's not even me doing unusual activity. It's them, but they're saying unusual activity's being detected." Um, so yeah, so toxic. You can't walk away. Must love pain. Play multiple accounts at once and you won't get bored. Yeah, I mean that's why I have like three accounts. And then my wife's account that I play with sometimes. Maybe I'm slow, but I wish they would at least let you create a favorite Arena Champs tab. Yeah. Populate your first champs. I play on mobile scrolling through my champions at various awakenings is annoying. But they also have the, the tab that you can just click and then type in a champion's name. So there's that. Oh, wait, where is... There it is. Okay. You won't have that problem with me. I want my single daily live arena battle to be as quick as possible so I can log out, take a long bath before I touch the game again. I wish you had the ability... To... <laughs> I wish you had the ability to chat with your opponents, bro. Imagine. Oh, imagine if you could start talking shit with your opponent. I can't stand it when people do this. I fought someone yesterday and he had uh, he maxed out the fight timer. Oops. He had two champions standing and all I had was four and I was still defeated for some odd reason. Is it Armand's? Fuck everybody who does this bullshit. Bro, you're not alone. You're not alone. It's live arena, not AFK arena. Every single fight I can remember that was live went to timer. They watched it so never went into AFK time. Can't even remember the last time I had an AFK or just doing the mission, winning 20 matches too. Before Live Arena was forced, I went through a string of 40 people, all who waited the timer out before a move was made. Do you think that it's forced that I'm suffering through that shit again? No, I'm hitting find opponent, looking away from the stream. Blame Polarium for forcing me to play this mobile shithole of a mode. I would love it if I could pre-select 10 champions in order. I want to select them to put into Live Arena, make my picks instant, but no, can't do that, so you get to deal with the crappy design choices. He's frustrated, so he's purposely going AFK just because he's been having bad experiences. I don't agree with it, but I get it.